What is up guys? This is Justin aka FM Digi and this is episode 4 of my series Chandler FC a race at the United States Pyramid. Um, I got a little crazy played some games um, had a mixed bag of luck but we'll show you that coming up here right now. Right, welcome back. So, where we left off before was our two away games against San Juan and Oakwood. As you can see, we've had a decent run of form, but we're on a uh, pretty uh, long scoring drought here. Um, ended up uh, really gelling, the, the team's really coming together, put out some good results. We climbed pretty high in the uh, standings. With uh, Let's see, let's go through. So we got a 1-0 a one -no, one win over um, PD Academy, 2-1 against Crossfire. I mean, we're, we're in all the games, we were dominating possession, we're scoring a lot, and then the wheels fell off a little bit. Um, Indiana Academy uh, got a good win there. Colorado Rush, I don't really know what happened. We just sort of let this one get away from us. Possession was way down. Did not have a uh, strongest game, but we came back on a good run. We beat Real Colorado 2-1, Kendall 3-1, both of those home games. So that might have had something to do with the uh, bounce back. Went on the road to um, RGV, uh, won 1-0, which is a big one. Got a 50th uh, minute goal from Alan Scheel. Uh, then we lost against Pennsylvania 1-0, uh, another away loss. Um, gave away kind of a late goal. And then everything seemed to gel. St. Mary's Academy, 4-0. Seacoast United, 2-1. San Diego Surf, 6-1. That was, that was really cool. I don't think we had played them already this year. No, we had not. Um, so it, at that point, we've played every team at least once, and we're going to go right back through the schedule again, it looks like. Um, Boston Bolts, who we got an initial 5 nothing win um, on the road to start the series with, if you remember back in episode two. Um, you know, thinking we're going to do well. Got a draw, uh, a goalless draw at home, which was a little bit of a disappointment. And since then, we haven't scored a goal. New Orleans, who is leading the pack, um, you know, just. Again, another game in which we have the possession but can't get it done. These last two games have been quite uh, quite a downer. Um, we've had a team talk, told them, you know, hey, this is a blip in the road. We're going to move on. We're going to move past this. Um, they all seem to be pretty good about that. So hopefully today's game against Vardar and Lone Star, you know, we, we get back in the winning column. Uh, to show you where we are in the standings, we are currently – Currently in fourth place, uh, New Orleans is running away with it. Oddly enough, they are an amateur club in this division. So, um, you know, I don't know how they're doing it with a bunch of no-name players who aren't even getting paid. At least I'm paying my players non-contracts. So, you know, we will see what's going on with that. Um, but, yeah, we cannot catch them. We lost to them already. Uh, the best thing we can do is get in the top four, get automatic promotion. Um, in this database, there is no playoffs back and forth. Uh, top four, top three, whatever it is for that for that league is automatically promoted. Bottoms are uh, immediately relegated down. So as long as we stay in the top four positions, I'm happy. I mean, remember, we're supposed to finish, uh, I believe, in last place in this in this. Uh, yeah, or finished 20th out of 22nd. So we're, we're technically supposed to be relegated. So anything right now is just gravy. I will take it. Um, it is also the opening of the transfer window. Uh, transfer window. We've made a couple of uh, attempts to get some people. We'll look, in, look at that here. Uh, let's go to the history. I was given a uh, – let's go back to finances here. I was given a little bit of a transfer budget from the board because they realized we were over – um, over exceeding our expectations. So they gave me a little bit of budget and a little bit more wiggle room to work with on payroll. As you can see, we have done crazy amounts of finance um, with this. So actually, we can look into this one, go back, you know, month after month, we are making bank when it comes to this TV revenue. That is a godsend. 
uh, prize money. We're doing well for the wins and the draws. We apparently didn't have very much last month, but you know, we get those going on. We are, you know, getting some money in the pockets. Expenditures are super low. You know, the biggest thing is the, you know, the, I believe other is what covers the, um, appearance fees that we pay since we don't have anyone on salary aside from the coaches. Yeah, player salaries, and I think that's just the under 19s. Uh, yeah, the under 19s are the ones sucking up our player salaries. Um, no one on our squad, I believe we got two guys, three guys with a salary. Um, in fact, no, no one. I was going to say you might see some new faces in here, and we'll go over those here right now. So we've 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 done some transfer action with our stuff. We've brought in um, Alejandro. Oof, Barragon. He came over from uh, Arizona FC. He is a um, left wing player. Uh, pretty good, also pretty good right in the middle. But I wanted to bring him on for his, uh, he's got some good experience. Um, really good physicals going on. He's, you know, far better than Gonzalez we have over there. But, you know, got to make sure he's good with the team. We also brought in Raheem Summersall. He's from Tucson, a midfielder. He has, you know, call it Carolello. I'm going to butcher that one. Uh, central midfielder, Mazala, deep line player. Him. He's, he's a pretty decent 21-year-old um, midfielder. Five-star current ability, five-star potential. So he is at his peak. He's got very good physicals. So I grabbed him up as best I could. I can't remember exactly the contract, but yeah, he's hitting on 180 appearance fee. Again, I can't give anyone actual contracts. We are still a semi-pro team. I have approached the board three different times to do um, professional status. They've denied me every time. I really don't want to push it too far because everyone else in our division is semi-pro or amateur. So I've been trying to play around with that. Uh, lastly, we brought in Sergio Garza. We actually paid money for somebody. He is a... Um, Right back from Phoenix Rising, our big rivals, but 17 years old, potential of five star ability, current uh, two and a half stars, and he's already our top um, right back out there. Um, does not play wing back, which which we uh, would prefer, but you know he he can he can get the job done back there. If we have to adjust, we can adjust to fit him. But he was too good to pass up. Uh, currently, we also have, whoops. We also have some uh, offers out to Alexander Damier. Uh, I'm, this is going to be the whole thing in the series, is me butchering names. This guy is too good to pass up, but we really don't play um, right right side midfield, but um, you know he's too good to pass up. We've got offers to uh, Batista and Sanchez, both of Phoenix Rising. I believe these were loan offer, or they do say transfer, but I kind of thought they were loan offers. And we do have a loan offer here um, for a uh, another goalie from Chivas. We tried to do a loan for this kid. He's not getting any playing time, and uh, Phoenix Rising accepted it. He rejected it. He did not want to be part of our team. We weren't good enough. So what we're going to do, uh, now that we've gone over that, let's get into the matches. We are playing Vardar. We are playing at home. So, you know, hopefully we can get back on the winning side of things. We did beat them our last time out, but, you know, we'll see. Our form has not been well lately. So let's, uh, let's get into the game here. We're going to stick with our same lineup as always. Um, Smith and goal. Edge, Smith, Mills, uh, Gomez behind or in front. We got Gomez in front of them, Goodman, Hamilton in the midfield, Gonzalez Shiel at the wings, and Rofero up front. We do have Garza Somersaul um, on the bench in place of usual Hernandez and Lee. And Berrigan is um, going to sit this one out for a little bit. I want to see how these guys do when I bring them in. I want to give myself options. I've been noticing um, late in the games my defenders get tired a little bit quicker, so I want to make sure I have some fresh legs to put back there. So let's get on with the game here. Oh yeah, we haven't played yet, so get you guys some numbers. Get it in. All right. We need to show improvement, for sure. 
Yeah, let's go with that one. All right, let's get it going on. I changed the TV angle to show more of the field and I added the league table here. So hopefully uh, better Gonzalez with the free kick. He's been nailing these. Um, he's been getting us in some good spots with those free kicks lately, but we'll see how we're doing. Uh, they're taking the ball out of the back. Lump it forward, Hayden. Wide open, Smith with the block. Gonna give them a corner. Let's get back, defend this, push it forward. Hayden with the corner. Smith grabs it, takes it out of the air, and that's the end of the highlight. Let's get them to, whoops. And it's also the free kick. See, what did I say earlier? He is the man at the free kicks. I want to go back and look to see how he, all his goals and free kicks. I want to say every single one of them. Every single one of his goals is a free kick. That's a thing of beauty right there. Thing of beauty. Let's praise him for that. They're going to bring it out of the back. Wombat, he's going deep. Hayden, again, we got to put some pressure on this kid. All right, let's do that. Let's get Hayden. Let's get some pressure. Always press. Weaker foot. I'm going to maybe move up that tackling a little bit, but let's make sure... We're not letting him run wild on us as we have been uh, 22 minutes into the game. And we are leading, dominating possession every game. It's, it's about a two to one every single game. Okay, they're bringing it back to their goalie. Up for grabs, Mills heads it back down, back to their team. Gonzalez comes in with the steal. Hopefully he can get a good one here. Oh, that was a cheeky little goal off the defender. I will take it. Take the own goal. That was ugly. We were not deserving of that, but that hustle by Gonzalez made it worth it. Let's look at this again. Gonzalez puts it in right off the foot. Goalie, I don't know what he was doing there, but again, I will take it all day long. We're up 2-0. We need to get this win. Need to get this win. Take it into half, 2-0 up. Good, we got a throw from Mills. He's going to get it to edge. Around to Gomez, who loses it. Bad first touch to Wardley. Got no one covering in the middle. Wide open, Hayden. Smith with an amazing tackle. Hamilton clears it out. Whew, we got lucky there. We got lucky there. Garlic with it to Washington. Washington over to Okalaba. Okalaba. What was that? Another, <laughs> we're trading on goals here. Mills. Let's see this again. I kind of want to slow this down just a smidge. It looked like just a mess and is pinged around on to, on off of somebody. Okbala gets it in. I don't know what Mills was trying to do there. Just take out our goalie and score at the same time. Uh, poor, poor, poor. So, you know, miss out on the shutout. But we really need to tighten up here. Okay. There's not a whole lot going in terms of offense. We only got one more shot than they do. We both have one on target. Um, you know, but what we've got 50% more possession than they do. So what we need to do is build on that. Let's see what is this? it says. Encourage the players. I really hate this because I don't know what to say to them. I'm pleased with how things are going so far. Apparently they'll listen to that. Everyone's in the 80s. We'll do that. Um, we haven't really changed our tactic. We're still playing positive. I don't want to play too attacking because that gets us too far up the field and leaves us vulnerable to counters, which we seem to be vulnerable for. In fact, let's change that now. Out of possession, take off the offside trap. Keep the line going, but let's use some tighter marking. Um, stay with that for right now. Make a substitution here in a little bit. Everyone's still in good form. I might. Goalie's not doing well. Ro Farrell just picked up a yellow. I was looking at pulling him off. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone to come off for him, so we're going to bring him on for Taylor, kind of out of position. And then we can look to bring in possibly some of our defenders in just a bit. They're still looking good. Got some six sevens, a six nine out there. Tony Smith on the yellow. I'll give him another five minutes and probably take him out.
All right. Let's bring on Tony Smith for Dan Connor. Let's get these guys to concentrate and let's get it on. I've overwhelmed them. Okay, let's bring down the line a little bit. Lower defensive line, lower line of engagement. Let's regroup, slow the pace down. In possession, we want to do a little bit of this. Work the ball into the box still. We're going to dribble less. Um, let's be more disciplined. I think we're good. Out of possession, we're still good. Yeah, let's leave that be. All right, let's see one of our new kids. So we've got Garcia Summersall, who needs a break. Let's bring in Garcia Gomez. Come on, let's just run this clock out. Do not need to give this away. Last Hamilton, get that ball out of there, out of there. That is a killer, a killer. We just, we set pieces, we're letting them have it. We had, ah, uh, Hamilton, or Gonzalez skies, Hamilton gets it out, but there's no one back. There's nobody back. We got O'Farrell out there too far. Makes an amazing, you know, fair play on them. That was a, that was a great one. We're just gonna have to take the draw at home, um, unfortunately. That's a bit of a disappointment. That is a bit of a disappointment. Get it back out there. Let's try to steal a goal at the end here. Let's get it. Get it. Why, why, why are we? Okay, well, not really happy with that. Let's let him know. Apparently, Hamilton seems unmotivated. He did okay. Let's tell him. Uh, please, what they did. Let's, oh, cool. Now I pissed off Gomez. Screw it, let's move on. You know, that puts us in fourth place. We have a good goal differential, um, you know, still above Seacoast, but we really need to get some wins and distance ourselves from this pack that's building up right behind us. Can't really have that. Denied by late goal, Garza making it, you know, we got some money out of that. Gonzalez had a good game, um, good job. Still looking for a win five matches in a row. All right, well, let it, let's do this. Um, we got nine days into the next game. I'll get us there and then come back when we're ready to play a game against Lone Star. All right, welcome back. So we're going to go against Lone Star Academy today, but we've made some transfer stuff happen, not happen, really. We have tried to go after Phoenix Rising and some of their players but no one wants to play for us. We've had a few offers accepted and the players will decline us. Uh, Ray Lee actually declined us from loan from Chivas. Uh, says we can't pay him enough even though we've offered to pay him 100% um, of his salary. So I don't know what his deal is. Now Williams also rejected us. Um, I wanted him for some depth in the uh, back, back line. He can play all three positions. So I really was excited to get him. Um, offered 3.4 thousand, uh, Phoenix took it and then he rejected us. We did put an offer out there, which I guess you can't see, um, for um, Phoenix Rising backup goalkeeper, Zach Lubin. Um, he, they, they had him out there for 10 grand and we put in a 10 grand bid and he's saying we can't give him the financial stability he wants. So not really getting a good, ch good shot at, um, Getting things down there, but you know what? We'll keep trying. Uh, also, one of the things I forgot to mention is Mecca. We um, had promised to give him an increase in first team soccer. Um, so we're going to start him today. Um, I started him some games, right, and it was right around the time we started losing. So even though he was playing well, I felt like the chemistry in the field was maybe costing us, so I took him out. Um, you know, he was he's been doing awesome. So I'm going to put him back in today. We also lost Farrell, uh, uh, 
what's his name, Ro Farrell and Goodman to suspensions for yellow cards they picked up in the last game. So Mazzotti's coming in. He's been kind of whining about first-team football, um, able to get him uh, – Having the other players talk to him to calm him down, but I'm going to play him up front today. And Summersall is going to get to see um, some action in the starting lineup in place of Goodman today. Uh, other than that, we have the back line of Smith. Um, in front, we have Mecca, Tony Smith, Mills, uh, Gomez. I'm thinking about putting uh, Sergio Garcia in there to see how he does, but I don't want to mess up having both um, wingbacks. Um, new on the field at the same time when especially we need to win and we are playing on the road. Uh, Gomez in front, Hamilton Somersault in the middle, Gonzalo Shield on the wings, and Maziotti in the front. So let's get on with the game. Everything looks good. Also, uh, our backup goalkeeper got hurt, so he is out. Um, Moreno's back, up, back to the backup position as well. I was hoping to bring in the kid from Phoenix Rising um, because Smith is only 17, I believe. Yeah, so he's our starting uh, goalkeeper, one star, seven, 17 years old. Uh, theirs was a three and a half or four star, so definitely would help us get some of the um, kind of immaturity we have out there right now. Let's give Baragon a number. Baragon. All right, encourage them, passionately say, go out there and impress me. Gomez looked happy, good. Okay, we're playing in our third, third jersey, our maroon purple thing. I want them to push forward early. I want them to show dominance as early as possible. Smith to bring it out to Smith. He's thinking about it, gets out to Mecca, back to Somersault. Thinking about it to Gomez, Somersault, Hamilton out to Mecca. Mecca not unsure. He's going to lose the ball to Gonzalez. Over to Somersault. Back to Gonzalez. Somersault to Maziotti. Scores! Andrea Maziotti. Mazzotti. You know what? I'm going to screw him up. That's what I do. Praise these fools. That was not bad. Somersault getting... One of his first touches of the game gets a nice assist. That was close. That was close being offside, but that was a beautiful top shelf goal. All right, good, good. Got him where we want him. We praised him. No, ah, oh, there we go. The feedback finally came through. Mazzotti is happy. We just need to maintain possession. Got a little bit of rain coming down now. Out to Somersault, Mazzotti. Loses it. Mills is able to chase back. Let's not make any stupid mistakes. Back to Smith. Plenty of options. To Gomez. Over to Smith. Somersault. Mecca. Gonzalez. Loses the ball. Gets it back. Mazzotti. Loses it to Wheelock. We got, we got guys in front. Just get back, get back, get back, get back. Gomez. Oh! That was a strike. I don't even know who that was from from them, but wow. It's locked and we locked down. All right, let's show some passion. The last part of this half. Remember, we are in the lead. We have the possession. We're building on shots. We're dominating on the stats here. Need to get a result here. Cannot deal with this losses and draws anymore. Did well, passionately tell them I'm pleased how things are going. Good, good, everyone's good. Mazzotti is at 81, we'll have to keep an eye on him. I really don't have anyone else to bring in for him. So he's gonna have, he wants playing time, earn your playing time. Starting the second half, they're bringing it down. Olsen to Donnell, and that's the highlight. We brought two fans with us today to the game. Woo, exciting. Smith's going to kick it out. No one forward for him. Mazzotti's chasing. Oh, Mazzotti gets a steal. He's going in. <sighs> Hits the cross of the post. Gomez to Gonzalez. Gets mugged. 
What a red card. Nope, nothing. Show some passion. See what that does. Inspire the other team. Cool. That's what I want to do. Okay, let's see who's playing poorly. No one really. Gonzalez, not so good. Let's bring in Berlagan for him. I know Taylor usually comes in, but I want to see how this kid does. Give him some game time. Uh, let's wait for this highlight to run its course. We're going to do a throw in to Donnell, back to Wyland. Lumps it forward. Smith going to just keep it on his foot. Don't screw up. Oh, that's not, oh why does he, he pull up? He had that. Mills with the header to Shield. Shield, haven't heard a lot from him today. Gets mugged. Detmer takes the ball away from him over to Jackson. They got a man going deep. Oh, Olsen wide open. Defense lets him in. And he scores. Oh, it's about time we might have to stop at the offside trap. I think that's biting us. I mean, look at this. The space right in here, wide open. We got this guy's offside, but, we, you know, whatever. That's just poor. Concentrate. Let's make a sub or two. Who needs some help? Uh, let's bring Connor in for Smith. Hamilton is not looking good. Let's bring Taylor in for him. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, let's offside trap a little bit. Let's turn that off. Marking up. Taylor getting the ball. Get, get. Uh, Taylor got the ball back. Good. Get it to use your team. Use your team. Use your team. Use your team. My God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Use your team. Oh, my God. Back to all the way back to the goalie. Smith, you're going to take it to Mecca. Over to Baragon, who loses it immediately. Made me regret that decision. Jackson up front. Oh, Smith with the save. Oh, my goodness. Show some passion here, lads. Bardsley with the corner. Oh, booted around. Wyland looking. Good defense there. Show some passion. And I am not getting them on my side today. Let's switch to attack. Good. Somersault. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get open. Get open. Get open. Put it in. I will take that. I will take that. Play a few minutes of attacking football. Let's get it going on. We are in need of some points. Get there. Get there, Somersault. Get it back out to Connor. And that's the end of the highlight. Can't yell at them anymore. We're going to end up with a draw here. Just get it back, get it back, get it back. Push forward, push forward. I don't know what you're doing. We're supposed to be playing attack. Another 1-1 one, one draw. <clears throat> Let that one get away from us. All because defenders were not marking correctly. Ah, I hate when that gets away. I'm lucky it wasn't our day. Disappointment, disappointment. Draw, Somersault makes a good debut. Again, we get another 11,000. Still looking for a win, six matches in a row. We've dropped down to fifth place out of the play or out of the um, promotion spots, but we are only one point down. Um, Real Colorado's got a game in hand, but we do have a three goal difference against uh, in front of them. Um, Seacoast, we're even with them. So we just, we just got to pick up some results. We just got to pick up some results here. I mean, in the end, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. This was episode four, Chandler FC, A Race of the United States Pyramid. If you like what you saw, please drop a like, or I'm sorry, drop a, yeah, drop a like on the video. What am I thinking? Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications, you know, when I go live. And hey, if there's anything you want to see, put them down in the comments below. Also, I would love to hear from anyone who has any recommendations on going professional. I think that's really holding us back. I really want to train some of these guys, and I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments what I can better do to get these guys professional status so I can you know, do better with the training and then get some uh, counters. I'm afraid I'm going to start losing my players here pretty soon. 
So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.